Hello Paint Couturers, Nikki from Gracie's House here and um, today we are going to be working on chest of drawers behind me. A little background for you, I'm just going to turn that off, a little background for you. Arranged to pick these up on Marketplace, double checked they were pine and sent husband, hi Patricia, sent husband to collect and unfortunately he returned, so I've got two sets, but they're not pine. They are MDF or fiberboard with a laminate coating. They're good, decent quality. They're on casters. They're nice and heavy, nice and chunky. They're not wood though. They're not solid wood. So a bit disappointed, but you've got to work with these things. Hi, Wendy. Well, morning and afternoon, indeed. Everything in between. And you're not late today, Wendy. I'm impressed. So we had to rethink the plan. And um, to make this workable, I've just realised that I thought I had, um, I had to use a different product and I haven't got it here to show you. Hi Helen, hi Barb, hi Teresa. Thanks everyone for joining. So I used the, um, the bonding primer. So I've given them a really, really good clean. Um, I gave them a tiny scuff sand, but because it's, um, it's a plastic coating, essentially there's not a great deal there to sand. Hi Laurie. So I went straight on with, this is just one coat actually. The coverage is pretty good and I can feel, um, hi Sharon, and I can feel that, you know, it's, it's still smooth, but it's gonna give me key. Whereas the plastic finish just was a bit, a bit more smooth. So, um, so that's the background. I've done a paint pour on the top. I'm not gonna show you that yet because that's gonna be a bit of a sneaky, and I'm, I might have to tinker with that a little bit longer. But this morning, for you this afternoon for me um i'm in a bit of a rush i've been in a bit of a rush this morning so i didn't get as much painted as i wanted i wanted a bit more painted to show you but i've managed to get one whole side done so i decided that because it was a <clears throat> a lesser quality piece of furniture i thought you know nursery furniture is not something that you're going to keep for a long time maybe that was a good idea so we're going nursery for this piece Ta-da! is that so I have used Barbados blue you know me I love these bright blues and this is awesome so this is the Barbados blue and it, it is it's almost I want to say a Tiffany kind of blue I think I think we're gonna we'll say a Tiffany blue it's got that kind of feeling anyway um, I didn't want to go obviously pink but I think this is the kind of blue that could be girls or boys maybe young boys perhaps who knows anyway Teresa it is adorable so I've slapped on um, some of the sweet dreams transfer so there's bits of that going on as well so we picked the elephant and I've got the cloud and I thought we would experiment with stripes so if you've done stripes um, if you haven't if you want some ideas on stripes so I'm picking out the colors that we're going to put in the stripes are the colors that I've used to pick out on the paint pour. Some of the colors, not all of them. So we've got Pearl Jammin CC Remix. Good morning, Erin. Can't be blue, can't bit blue. Heather, I'm not sure what you mean there. So yes, we've got Pearl Jammin. So that's the beautiful pearly Jammin. Um, we've got sea glass, so a slightly darker tone of the bar than the bar Barbados blue. Too many bees. And I've also got stardust, of course. <laughs> Can't not do stardust. So I'm thinking we're going to kind of do, you know, I, I like the dabby action when we talk about um, blending. So I'm going uh, to blend those three using a dabbing motion through stripes. So I have my wider frog tape because I'm covering a relatively big chunky piece. I prefer the dimensions of my stripes to be a bit wider. Okay, so you may notice that I have made it difficult for myself because I have a star, I have a star, I have a cloud. We're kind of going around them. I didn't want to do stripes first and have them all solid. Can't beat a bit of blue. Heather, get you now. Erin, stardust all the time. Stardust on everything, I know. I didn't want solid, solid stripes and then to kind of just plonk the transfers over the top. 
Um, so that's why I've done it this way round. You can of course do it that way round. That's just on this one. I wanted um, I wanted the stripes to be a bit more subtle, and we're going to kind of just ghost them in so they they don't um, you know they don't go all the way through. They don't. They're not going to go right up to the transfer. We're just going to kind of flutter them in. There's a good term, flutter. So I'm going to let me just stand up on this side. I'm going to pop the first piece of tape on the edge because I don't want my stripe to go all the way up to the edge but I want it a little way up the edge and I'm going to go down to about I think I'm going to go down to about here because I don't really want him bothering the elephant I don't want to go all the way down I don't need to and I just need to adjust that And when you are doing stripes with paint, got there. stripes, Wendy, stripes, I know. And when you are doing stripes with paint, you do need to kind of press your, your tape down, but we're kind of, we are using a small amount of paint. We're not going really, really thick and, and mad with it. Um, if you use a, a metallic type of wax, there we go. If you're using a metallic type of wax, um, you can, you don't have to be quite so careful. Okay, so what I tend to do, whatever size tape I'm using, I use one piece here to go like that, up against, butt it up against your first piece. I'm gonna cut that here. I've got something stuck on the edges of my tape. So that gives you your width. You don't have to press that one down so hard. And then I use the next piece of tape. Again, butt that up against your, oops, butt it up against that second piece. I'm gonna stop here because that's where my transfer is. And that one I am using. So I'm gonna press that one down. Let me just, boop, boop, boop. there we go, I don't want a crease, there we go, that's better. And then I pull that one off and that gives you your width. Does that make sense? Um, so if you struggle and you don't want to have to measure, that's a good way to um, maintain the width of your stripes. Look at that, that's stuck together. Sticky stuff. So I'm just gonna do similar there alternatively I quite often eyeball it and just do what I fancy um, so you know you've just got to again you know me I always say you've just got to do what works for you and I don't think I'm going to quite get one in there so what I'm going to do on this piece because I don't want to stick it on my transfer it will probably pull my transfer up I'm going to just stick it down on the the edge that I need it so I'm going to go here, I'm going to go right the way down to here, I'm going to cut it here, let's take the tip off, and I'm just going to press it down on that edge, because that's the edge that I want it to, to paint up against. So I'm hoping what I'm doing makes sense to you right now, fingers crossed. Um, let's come over this side here. press it a little bit there I'm just going to not press it down where the cloud is and then I'm going to pop a little bit here to give me my width hoping desperately that this doesn't stick to the transfer too much <laughs> okay so we're missing the cloud but we're missing the star sorry and let's just stick another So again, I'm just not pressing down around where my star is. Francie, the transfer's cute, isn't it? Oh, you want, <laughs> makes you want more small, small children. Just a little bit, only a little bit. Maybe ones you can give back. 
Um, okay, that one looks a bit wonky to me, which is bizarre. That's definitely wonky. I don't know how that's happened. So we'll, we'll eyeball that bit, but that definitely looks wonky. Strange. There we go. We missed the star. And I will just put another bit here. In fact, look, I can just do that. I reckon that's about that. So there we go. And I may I may carry on and do another section here. I, I think I think if you've got to work around a transfer and you don't want stripes under the whole transfer, it's a way of doing it. So, okie dokes. Let's, let's crack on and see how this goes. I think I'm going to end up on the floor today. It feels like a floor project. Have you thought about putting paper over the area transfer the tape so the tape doesn't stick it? Melanie, you could do that. Um, or you could also just use the top sheet from the transfer. Um, but what I did, I wanted to have a bit more control over how close I got with the paint as I was going along. But yes, if you were concerned about that, you could absolutely do that. So this bit is going to be quite random. I've not got a plan. I just kind of want it to be a bit fluid and soft. shape first. I need to grab another stir stick. For the stardust. It's amazing how quickly you get through stardust when you use it on everything. <laughs> and it does go a long way. So if you've got any questions as I'm going along, I will try and answer anything. Helen's also here. Um, so she'll pick anything up. And of course, if I do, if anything's missed, I'll always go back and check and, and, and answer questions afterwards. I'm not even sure I'm gonna use the sea glass. I just wanted it. Wendy Stardust just makes everything better full stop, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I might just end up sticking to the two metallics. I'm not sure yet. As usual, we're doing a bit of experimenting together. Okay. Well, pearl jam is delicious as well. It really is. Mm. Okay. So I've got my blue ice brush. I've got a couple of other brushes because I'm waiting on some more of these lovely chunky ones, my favorites. Um, I'm going to start with pearl jamming and I'm really not loading my brush up much in fact I'm going to it's almost like I kind of want a dry brush but not quite so very very little paint to start with you can build it it's easier to build than it is to take away if you feel like you've put too much on that's not enough <laughs> right brush for this actually because it's domed and not flat I might have to run off and find mm, blue ice magic yeah, yeah I think I need a, a flatter brush perhaps anyway we'll keep working I'm going to use a different one for my stardust And I'm just going to do our, you know, like we did on that, um, uh, we did on the dressing table. So we're going to do the dabbing motion to create our blend.
It's just noisy, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I will use sea glass. Why not? Let's try. I've got it out. Let's give it a go. So I just want to make it a little bit cloudy. Uh, you never get tired of stripes, Risa. <laughs> Do you know, I don't use them a massive amount, but they always are so effective, aren't they? cute it's a bit um it's a little bit kind of rainbowy it's just pretty isn't it um, and I'm not going to follow that combination on on each stripe I'm going to mix it up and so I'm going to go stardust on the top of this one I'm just kind of taking it up and a little bit around the star just to fill in, sort of fill in that gap, but it's just like an almost like a subtle, um, a subtle hint of a stripe. It's not a full stripe here. But like I said, I'm this is this is a complete experiment. I have not done any kind of blended stripes or ombre stripes before, so yeah, whimsical, Teresa. I love that phrase. I think you're right. Um, I'm going to go sea glass next. And I wanted to kind of the seat the, the blues to to make it less overtly female because I think you know this softness is quite girly. Um, but my Gracie loves kind of turquoisey blues. So I think, you know, it, it then becomes maybe a bit more, it, you know, if you're not sure what you're getting, if you're not sure if a boy or girl's on the way. Cute. And we'll put a bit of the pearl jam in next. And we'll sort of go up to this balloon here. too many colours either it's not giving you too much of a dirty um, mixed blend you love the transfer you haven't used it yet I know it's I do you know what this is a, I did a transfer tube makeover which you might have seen Risa and that was given to a friend of mine um, but I haven't done it on furniture I've been waiting for the right piece so patiently waiting for the reveal I know Ari <laughs> the reveal um, I just feel like I want to stick a bit more pearl jam in here it's gonna, uh, I think I've not put enough on, that's better. It's just looking a little bit sad, not quite enough. There we go. And I'm also, because I'm dabbing, I'm creating that bit of texture, but it will leave me with a little bit more, more paint, so it will take longer to dry if you're doing this. 
So I'm quite, I love this bit where it kind of goes up around the star as well. I'm going to put a little bit of, a little touch of sea glass on my brush, which I don't know quite like that. That's pretty. And so what have we got? I think we'll go pearl jamming at the top on this next one. And I don't want my, my stripes to go right to the top of my piece either. So, I, you know, you have full control over where your stripes stop and start. You don't have to run for the full length or height of your piece. I've got anything else? No, I've not missed any more questions. Uh, okie dokie. Let's just... Um, what have we got now? What should we do next? Shall we do sea glass? I think. Yeah. And I'm not being too particular either about which brush I'm using to kind of give me the blend. I'm just going for it really. Now I was, I had every intention of having this painted and prepped before this morning. So the bonding primer has been done a couple of days and I just didn't get round to painting this side. So I had a hair appointment this morning. <laughs> so I raced back after that and painted it. So I, full disclaimer, if anything happens when I take the tape off, that's why. And it's because I've tried to rush it and I've not left it. Risa, the colour is Barbados Blue, the main colour here. transfer went on okay so I'm secretly confident <laughs> okay so we've got one stripe left which color should we start at the top I think I'm gonna go ooh, 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 sea glass again I'll go a bit higher on that side and I think I'm gonna just kind of go the other way with my, I've noticed that I've done that diagonal and I kind of wasn't consciously trying to do that. Thanks Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> when she gave me the dates and it was the Thursday, I was like, yes, I can go and have my hair done and then have a live. Not thinking about actually how long it takes to have your hair done. maintain the texture on that pearl jamming where I'm dabbing. And let's get this one back. Back to stardust. Oh I've just realised I'm gonna go and put another colour underneath. I've ended with stardust again. But I'm gonna put a different I'm gonna put probably um, a bit of sea glass like I did over here. just because we finished here and I'm not taping down I'm just going to kind of tail that off down there and just see how it looks
because I can't help it. Okay, should we go for a reveal? Shall we? <laughs> okay, well, that's good so far. you're seeing a rainbow through like stripes of already excited <laughs> oh I love that where it goes around the star so pretty I'll bring the camera in in a sec looks like the stardust looks like other clouds in the background you know it looks even <laughs> this looks way better than it did in my head and it looks great in my head I I um I'm always one for you know when it comes out and, and, and it looks how you imagined this is way way better so let's pull you in a little bit can you see oh look you've got a sneak peek of the top there as well oh how pretty Yay! So you can see here I haven't painted here, so you know, don't worry, it's not going to be white. Charlie, 5 26 a.m. Why are you awake? Crikey! And I haven't done the, um, the base here either, but oh, I'm really, really, really made up how that's turned out. And I think it all tones in really nicely. So um, let's see what. I think we've, I've nailed that in about half an hour and I haven't got any more to paint on here. So shall I paint the other side in the Barbados? Just, I'm using a roller again, so you can just see how well it goes on. I know you always, you know how well it goes on, but it's not, you know, you never tire of it. I'll let that dry a bit. So I'm just gonna peel my, my messy paint pour tape up. And um, let's have a look. Morning. Who, who say morning? Same here, Francie Charlie. Oh, you're early girls. Morning, morning. Crikey. So I'm going to get my Barbados blue. I have got my roller out. So this is the um, this is the redesign with Prima Roller. You're oh crikey! Do you set an alarm to come and watch us, Risa? My new chair. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I'm on the floor again. It's here. It's right here. I just felt like the snow right. I'm going to get on it. There we go. I'm on it. I'm being a good girl. <laughs> Renee! You must, you must have a, a break from your busy work schedule. I've already stirred this earlier, not that long ago, because I used it to paint the side. So it was two coats on, on the other side, but you'll see from this, the coverage. We always talk about the coverage, it's awesome. <sighs> Barbados blue. And actually Helen has, has um, sent me, I've got some new rollers to try, but I haven't got them out of the packet yet. I should be doing that now, but I am not. So I do find, because these are quite um, thin, they don't seem to, um, they don't seem to create the air bubbles and the texture like thicker rollers do. And because of the self-leveling properties that Paint Couture has, it just leaves a really, really flawless finish. So when you're doing big areas like this, using a roller is, is a bit of a no-brainer really. 
it just makes everything go on so much quicker. And I kind of go over afterwards and just do a really, really gentle lay off, all in the same direction, just so that if there's any kind of texture there or, you know, you've loaded it more in one section compared to another, um, it, it helps. So when I'm actually rolling on, I do try to go in one direction, but sometimes it's just, you know, you want to, it's just kind of, oh, look, look, you know, that, that just, it fits better in that side, in that shape. It's the, for me, it's as long as you lay everything off in the same direction. Hi, Nina from Spain. Then um, you shouldn't have a problem. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave it all in random directions. And because paint couture does dry quite quickly, there's another good reason to, especially if you're doing these big flat surfaces, is to use a roller. You get your paint on quick, you're not having to mess with it too much. Um, I just had a bit of fluff there. So yeah, you're not having to mess with it too much. I'm just going to do that really gently. I'm barely putting any pressure on at all, just to do that kind of lay off, finish it. And that's it. That's how quick it can go on. It would have, I know, Barb, my hydraulic lift, it hasn't arrived yet. It's due middle of May, I think. So, <laughs> But that's how quickly you can kind of get to work. Um, I hair dried the other, the first coat on my last, oh, that goes on the other end. So we can just quickly do that. Cause we've got plenty of time. Those stripes, I wasn't sure how long the stripes would take. So it's the filth off the back of my hair dryer. I need to glue it on or something like that. And I don't recommend you hair drying, it's just for the purposes of live really. But I get it out. It, that's dry to the touch now. You don't need a great deal. So between the the bonding primer that I used first, and I did you do you're best off leaving that if you can. I always prefer to leave it overnight. Just so everything's doing it what it should do. And then two coats of the paint tool. This one's the Barbados blue. And like I said, I probably left it 20 minutes before I added my transfer, so it was really good and dry. And the transfer went on really, really well. So um, everything's done its job. The bonding time has worked. The paint's drying as it should. Using the rollers gives me a nice smooth surface for my transfer to stick to as well. colours that you fancy if you didn't use this colour before or would you use it now you've seen it you fancy having a go at stripes now those of you that are watching time to do another side with a transfer and some more stripes but we might as well just get 
could get some more painting done while I've got the time slot. You're definitely going to try slight stripes now, Melanie. What colour do you think you'll do? You'll try some multicoloured ones. The other thing um, this would work with is the, you know, any stenciling. The stick and style stencils from Redesign would work really well for this. mottled the spots would look cute on this being that it's a nursery piece pinks with aluminium Ooh, Francie you've got something you want to strike Wendy so much fun when your net drops mm. it's a lovely blue isn't it And that's why we have painty jeans. I'm forever doing that and wiping it on my jeans. I just, I'm terrible for it. Pinks with aluminium, that sounds lush. Yeah, I used the aluminium on my dressing table that I posted yesterday. It's, it's very much like Stardust in sparkliness, but in the silver range. Very, very cool. Wendy, look of confusion. I know, I've been having home internet. Ah, net, yes. Oh, don't even, internet stuff's been, I've been having a nightmare. But I had an email from my internet provider yesterday saying we've noticed some clogging up of channels and we've switched everything and you should experience good things. And today it seems to have gone okay. So I'm feeling confident that they've done something good. You couldn't find a pair of pants without paint on them the other day. I know. <laughs> I know, I go, I go in my drawer and I've got loads of pairs of jeans, but it's, it's a nightmare thinking, oh, I've, I'll just go down and do something. And then, oh, okay, that's another pair with paint on there. Um, okay, I'm gonna turn it back round so we can look at the main event again. Thank goodness this is on casters. <laughs> Wendy, hope it's, I know. Oh, you're in the country as well. Yeah, I'm sure that does not help. So let's see how that's looking. Oh, it's so pretty. It makes me feel like I need more pearl jamming in my paint pour. So I'm not sure what to do about that. I might have to come up with a plan. Um, so there we go. So I've got a little bit of drips, so I'm gonna get I'm going to get a little brush, just where I put so much paint on, just where I've got so much paint on to give me texture, I've got a little bit of dripping here. So I'm just going to go in with a smaller brush and just kind of touch away those drippy bits. But it's just going to add to the texture that I've already got. So it's not it's just to improve the bit. Hi, Sue. Painty pants and leggings. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now we've got a little bit of dripping here. There we go. So, yeah, I'm just 
you know, it's not full coverage on any of those colours. Um, but I'm really, really pleased how that's turned out. I hope you enjoyed. Sue, I'm not sure if you've only just missed, uh, joined us that you've missed how we got here. So it might be a hashtag replay for you. Um, thanks for joining me. Just as a recap for anyone that hasn't been with us since the beginning, the this is a laminate piece. So I gave it a really, really good clean. I gave it a coat of the bonding primer. So that's the Shore Prep bonding primer. Uh, which is for specifically for surfaces that you can't kind of scuff up and create yourself a key. So smooth, laminate, plastic, glass, metal if you need it. Um, so that's the Shore Prep bonding primer. Then it's got two coats of the Barbados Blue. We taped off our stripes and the stripes we've used sea glass, pearl jamming and stardust to give it kind of this cloudy, this kind of dreamy looking effect behind it okay guys thanks for joining me and i will see you again this time next week